In this case, the next presenter is Gianpaolo Vitale. Okay, same here. Okay. We can see you, but I think that we have problems with the audio. I can start. So, uh, can you hear me? Yes, very well. Please, Mr. Chairman, uh, can you confirm that I can start, please? Yes, you can start. Okay, thank you. Uh, um, so, uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. So, the title of this presentation is uh, Multimodal Mood Recognition for Assistive Scenarios. I'm Gianpaolo Vitale, I'm with the Institute of for high performance computing and networking, uh, belonging to the National Research Council of Italy. So the context is of socially assistive robots. Uh, social robots are used in different contexts uh, and in healthcare, the, the, our context, uh, they are better known as socially assistive robots. The use of socially assistive robots has the potential to increase motivation and engagement to treatment. Other positive roles are to provide education, train regarding treatment and feedback to patients. So in this field, emotion recognition is a strategy for social robots to use to implement better human-robot interaction and model their social behavior. Since human emotions can be expressed in different ways, face, gesture, and voice, multimodal approaches are useful to support the recognition process. Um, particularly, we present a real-time multimodal approach for emotion recognition aimed at improving the quality of human-robot interaction. It is based on the following assumptions. The emotion represents an essential component in human social activities. We communicate our emotions through different communication channels, like voice, gestures, facial expression. According to the emotional reaction of our interlocutor, we create expectation and make decisions. Um, Moreover, it's important a correct interpretation of the emotions of the interlocutor, especially in this context in which I will show you uh, what are the main problems uh, in transferring uh, uh, mood recognition into an healthcare context. And finally, the interaction with other robots is crucial in social and assistive contexts. Uh, so our proposed multimodal human emotion detection is based on an audio emotional recognition, text emotional recognition, facial emotional recognition, and finally emotional recognition from a spectrogram. It is conceived to be used as an auxiliary tool in the field of telemedicine to remotely monitor the mood of elderly patients and observe the healing process. The framework of this uh, implementation is a research project uh, 
uh, named Amico, meaning uh, medical assistance in contextual awareness. It has been founded by the Ministry of Education uh, of Italy. And this project has developed uh, like a technological infrastructure that monitors behavior and physio physical state of patients undergoing rehabilitative therapies and offers telemedicine services in order to support the person in their home environment. The infrastructure is realized through the integration of purpose design sensors, mobile device and commercial sensor, and humanoid robots that act as mediator between the person and the infrastructure home environment. So particularly, uh, this tool is conceived so that uh, the patient can alert the doctor of feeling sick in real time. And the um, second issue is the doctor can understand the patient trust. It is important, um, like in our experience, uh, it is important that, uh, especially for case, uh, in case of elderly people, uh, uh, really a, a trust uh, is recognizable between uh, people and robots. It's not an easy task. So um, we have three expected goals uh, that uh, to provide an up-to-date record of available emotional speak data collection in the database, to recognize the most frequent features used for emotional speak recognition, and to identify uh, appropriate techniques to classify data into emotional states. In, in literature, the traditional approach is well consolidated, but let me explain uh, why in uh, the field of uh, telemedicine, in particular for elderly people, um, they should be considered a uh, like work in progress, especially for, uh, in, for this contribution. Uh, firstly, the database. A database is um, used for our application is, uh, um, there are two, two databases um, taken from internet uh, available database, but um, they are uh, registered by uh, professional actors. Uh, usually they are very young people, so that uh, their face, their expression is uh, recognizable. In case of elderly people, it's not so easy. So um, in our experience, uh, um, it's not the expression of the, the voice are not so uh, well classified by um, using this kind of database. Moreover, uh, the features um, not, uh, are not so uh, different for other people. And finally, the classifying data uh, could be different. And in particular, we are interested uh, both on the recognition of the mood and uh, uh, to recognize, for example, if uh, two different and non-coherent non mood can be recognized, uh, meaning that, uh, for example, there is a set of confusion of the patient. And so in this case, it's important that the doctor uh, can uh, uh, contact the patient personally, for example. Uh, our mood classification consider uh, sad, disgust, fear, anger, surprise and happiness. Uh, it elaborates uh, out the audio trace, the speech to text, face recognition and image based spectrogram. Uh, the input of the system is uh, a video uh, that encompasses the audio trace. The video can be recorded in real time or it, an offline uh, video can be used uh, for classification from an existing database. The audio test classification is consolidated in literature. Mm. Um, particularly, our sampling frequency is 44,000 uh, hertz, and um, we uh, use the registration of uh, more or less three three second. Um, it is implemented by Python library, and it is based on the consideration that, uh, depending on the gender, uh, we can recognize different parameters of the signal, in particular considering pitch, intensity, and timing. In addition, uh, fast frequency transformer is uh, calculated considering the main frequency A amplitude of the signal. 
uh, the speech to text uh, utilize uh, um, the speech recognition library with Google speech recognition uh, tool. Um, it is based on a speech to text module, then a translator into Italian language since it is implemented in the Italian environment, and a text classifier. Particularly text to emotion was trained with a dictionary of words classified with emotion, and then the mode is obtained. Regarding the third classifier by face recognition, we start from uh, a video. It is split into more frames, and frames are classified uh, by a, a face motion recognizer, by a Python, Python open source library by Jan Sheik. And finally, we considered also the spectrogram image, meaning the representation of the frequency of the signal during time. Um, the colors uh, identify different uh, amplitude of the frequency, uh, so we can see that uh, corresponding to a mood, different mood, we uh, can see a different image. So uh, they can uh, classify the like images. Regarding the database, the starting database uh, is a mobile, is a, an emotional speech database with uh, uh, 588 data um, registered by six professional actors. Uh, each actor uh, says 14 sentences for each of seven main emotions. It is a professional registration, um, mostly performed by young and professional actors. Uh, we had an, uh, another database, uh, the Genova database, and we mixed for test uh, videos with others taken by non-professional actors and registered in our laboratory. The um, classify, classification of uh, the mood is performed on the uh, decision tree, particular, uh, for example, to detect the main uh, mood, uh, we uh, check if uh, emotion 1 is equal to emotion 2 and 3 and so on. So that uh, uh, based on this comparison, the emotion is detected, the main emotion is detected. The other implementation uh, is devised on uh, JSON nano devices. Our target is to implement a cheap uh, device that can be interfaced, for example, in a robot like a Pepper or other. In, in any case, uh, all software is implemented uh, on uh, the Jetson device uh, and it, it, it can be used uh, uh, both for uh, uh, acquire uh, real-time videos or used to register video in offline. Um, about the results, um, I start with the uh, um, results coming from a uh, traditional monomodal, monomodal mood recognition. Uh, we can see that best results are given by face-based prediction and text-based prediction. Um, uh, accuracy evaluation uh, gives uh, about 54% uh, and 57% for the last two Aerosols. Um, they are influenced by the database, but um, another classification is possible. For example, let's compare uh, these aerosols. So let's suppose that uh, starting from the same uh, file, same video, uh, we obtain uh, by face based prediction uh, disgust and um, a sadness from text-based prediction. And they can be classified like coherent results, so meaning that we can identify, in any case, the patient's mood. Differently, for example, uh, if starting from another video, we obtain uh, disgust and happiness, it is a non-coherent result. In this case, it's possible that, for example, the patient is not honest with the, with the, with the doctor, or, or, or there is a um, uh, confusional state. So when they seem 
um, different results, but uh, this kind of classification give, uh, gives us uh, further information on the patient. Um, the same consideration can be performed on the multimodal modular niche. So by the nodal database, uh, it is another database, uh, considering 14 visas, not a high number, uh, separate results, uh, we obtain 60% uh, of accuracy. Um, also in this case, we can make some consideration on the coherency of data. For example, considering uh, that uh, uh, happiness and sadness are non-coherent data, or differently, even if surprise is not well identified, but with neutral expression, of, especially in our experience for elderly people, it is possible that it is uh, uh, a coherent data. Um, using non-professional volunteers, of course, uh, the accuracy is worsened. But also in this case, a different classification uh, can be performed considering coherent diet. For example, uh, surprise is coherent with happiness um, or, or with neutral and so on. So, um, so the main problem is uh, to improve data classification to extract uh, more information from them. So, um, just to conclude uh, this consideration. So a multimodal model recognition system has been implemented and tested by data from professional and non-professional actors. The system is devised as a tool to recognize the patient mood in clinical remote applications. The system is conceived to be implemented in a chip hardware like disk nano and interfaces with a robot like paper. Non-coherent mood results could be useful for the doctor. There are many possible improvements uh, in this system. Uh, so a few future, future works will concern. Uh, firstly, to improve the database by increasing the number of non-professional actors. Uh, to test the system in real operating conditions, so it is very difficult to retrieve uh, reliable data in operating conditions from patients. And finally, uh, could be useful to add the physiological signal, for example, heartbeat rate or blood pressure. The literature uh, shows that, uh, in general, uh, the reliability of the classification is improved in this sense. So this is all. Uh, thank you for your kind attention. Uh, if you have any, any question, uh, you're welcome. I think there is no questions.